डिजिटल मार्केटिंग बोल रहे हैं ब्लॉक चेन बोल रहे हैं अभी बोल रहे हैं कि मशीन लर्निंग सीखो तो लाइफ में सेट हो जाएंगे आई एम जस्ट सो कंफ्यूज मैन यू नो आई आई टॉक टू माई डैड फ्रेंड्स दे आर गिविंग मी अ डिफरेंट आइडिया आई टॉक टू माई फ्रेंड्स डैट दे हैव अनदर आइडिया सो वॉट डू आई रियली स्टडी एंड आई एम ऑलरेडी वर्किंग इन फाइनेंस एंड आई वॉन्ट सी हाउ आई कैन अपग्रेड माई सेल्फ विद वॉट इज हैपनिंग द फ्यूचर अंकुर सर ऑल्सो शेयर लॉट ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस अबाउट फ्यूचर ऑफ स्किल्स देर सो मेनी अदर क्रिएटर्स आर गिविंग मी लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन आई एम एब्सोलूटली अनश्योर वेड आई स्टार्ट अबाउट दिस होल चेन ऑफ skills of future this is what i hear from most of my followers so today ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be sharing with all of you based on my research and talking to people what are the top 5 areas of growth opportunities in the future and earn a lot of money let's get started let me start with the most basic and evergreen if you do this you are always ready for the skills of past present or future and that is sales whatever happens in the world somebody has to go and sell and sell Sales skill is not just about sales people. It's for anyone. You know, today I am trying to sell my ideas to all of you through a YouTube channel. I'm running a company as a full-time CEO, and I have to convince people to follow the goals that we have set, which have which need sales skills. You will never go wrong if you start off with sales education. I strongly recommend everyone to have at least a basic knowledge of sales. But if not, you would not go wrong if you do, for example, an MBA in sales or marketing, or you do a, a basic graduate. graduation and get yourself expert in a in a, uh, in a post graduation in sales as well you know at the end of the day the maximum money is also mostly earned by sales people in any organization i can tell you from my own example when i was in my early days in my organization even when i was heading the business or even when i was a branch manager my sales managers used to earn more than me and i was very happy with that because it shows the company is doing well so with sales it's important that you not only get the theoretical skills but also of course get the practical knowledge which you can acquire through a lot of internships and part time jobs but what i want you to also remember is if you feel that you are an introvert and because of that you should not do sales you're not correct you know there are a lot of introverts who have trained themselves to become very good sales experts sales is not just about blah 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 talking sales is about able to connect with the customer at a heart to heart level convince them that your product and service is what they should buy more from trusting you than anything else so don't worry about those parts you will never go wrong with care say second one is the ever popular right now that's buzzing around is digital marketing yes digital marketing is going to be here for a very long time now what is important in digital marketing digital marketing is nothing but the ability to use the digital side of the world to market your product and services now this is not direct sales because sales come comes from an output of marketing or raising awareness of the brand marketing's role is to bring the product process or the person's brand out for people to see so this is marketing is basically someone who needs to have an eye for creativity you can have of course all the other marketing skills the ability to be able to present something in a very simple way you have to take complex information and how do you put it in front of an audience they can absorb it in a very very simple manner in the digital format the fact is the amount of digital users is increasing year on year on an exponential basis we have close to 400 to 500 million digital users just in india for example which will go on to touch double of that in the next 5 to 10 years which means the number of people who have to reach to audiences using digital platforms is going to increase everywhere there are ads Uh, that is where digital marketers come into play they even use people like influencers to get the message right across for example can you come up with targeted campaigns for let's say toys now can you come up with targeted campaigns for toys who are uh, for the parents who have little kids and the age group of kids as well so there be a lot of information collecting trying to filter and give targeted information the third skill a little bit different which i'm not sure if people have gathered yet is the sustainable energy sources wind energy solar energy hydro energy everything that is not consumed from coal that's becoming a big trend see the thing is we know that coal is having a due date end now oil is getting finished up in the middle east so everybody is turning towards sustainable sources of energy electric cars are becoming the next big thing almost everybody is getting into electric cars similarly wind solar
Kumar, all of this is becoming very popular. Adani and Ambani in India are investing billions, billions of dollars in solar power, in battery, which is electric power, and also wind turbines. I don't know if you're aware, but wind turbine is also becoming very, very huge. You know, previously it used to be dominated by European companies and a lot of Chinese companies. Now, Indian companies are getting very big on this as well. Yenaya Hindustan. There are colleges that are specifically good for energy studies. I would also recommend you to think about this. The skills required is you have to be technically strong in electromechanical side of education. You have to also have an eye for details. So I strongly recommend you do some research on the kind of subjects that will be involved in energy studies. But it has a future. I can tell you that it will give you a lot of prospect to be prepared for the future. And more than anything else, it's going to bring you more money because a lot of global companies are in this race. So not only in India, you may have job opportunities in many European countries as well. Of course, the Americas and um, and even Africa for that matter. So if your goal is to go global, energy studies is a very good idea. Do some research. The next industry that's also going to really radically go up is anything related to health and wellness. This can be not only, of course, the healthcare industry being a doctor, but cosmetics. A lot of people want to look good now. There is a boom of skincare specialists, correction of your teeth, <coughs> correction of your features, plastic surgery, but also from a wellness perspective, you know, the, the whole beauty industry is going through a huge transformation right now. Fitness industry is going through a huge transformation right now. There are a lot of options, but where I think there are still not a lot of options is the whole area of uh, cosmetics and natural cosmetics uh, from a uh, not a surgery perspective only, but using natural elements to make yourself look better. So if you are somebody interested in biology or you are somebody interested in health and fitness, you should be thinking about it. So this is another sector that you can also look at studying. You will definitely not go wrong with it. Last but not the least, I have to tell what is being discussed everywhere right now. That is data analytics, data scientists, data mining, artificial intelligence and blockchain. But I want to specifically mention that what is also going to be in demand in all of these things is somebody having a strategic mindset. It's not just about mind data or analyzing data or using machine learning do you have the ability to dissect the data and bring out using the right algorithms the value adding information for organizations so you have to have analytical bent of mind strategic bent of mind attention to detail and ability to focus and bring out the best uh, information out of the information provided to you this is also going to be a big thing there's a lot of big data uh, courses being offered in India as well right now. You should try and get some more perspective on these. So these are from my experience, knowledge and talking to a lot of experts, the top five sectors or areas that's going to be really booming in the next decade. You will not go wrong with these, but I have to give you a bonus tip. This is the most important tip amongst all those five things I've just told you. And that is, you can have all of these five skills, but you will still not succeed if you don't have the right soft skills. You know, if you don't have good communication, skills, negotiation skills, convincing skills, ability to put your point across in a succinct way, the ability to convince people, right attitude, right behavior, and the right way of driving your performance to the next level. You can have all of the above, but if you don't have this, you're going to fail. So more than anything else, please continuously keep working on your soft skills and become better and better and better every day. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Till I see you next time, stay fit, stay positive, keep chasing your team success. Thank you. Do click on the subscribe button and notification button to continue watching all the videos that I'm posting.